Hi, this is Amanda with BulbAmerica.com, and in this video we're going to be looking at the PAR38 family. The very interesting thing about the PAR38 family is the wide variety of wattages that these bulbs come in. And there are also a wide variety of manufacturers featured here. Manufacturers like GE, Philips, Yushio, Osram, and Platinum. So what we're going to look at first is the type of base. So if you notice, this is a two-pin side prong base. So what's really important is that you pay attention that your fixture is designed to support this type of base. Because if you don't have a two-pin side prong base, then you really won't be able to use this type of bulb. So it's not a standard E27 base, so it's very important to pay attention to make sure you've got the right type of base. Now we're going to look at the E27 bases. So these are standard base types for the PAR38 bulbs. So if you look, um, this is what the, the E27 base looks like. It just looks like a standard screw-in. And then we're going to look at the types of beam angles that we have. So notice, this; these are both spot bulbs. So this bulb here is a flood bulb. And if you notice, this spot made by Philips and this flood made by Platinum, they look very similar, but don't be confused by the way the face of the bulb looks. The way that you're really going to be able to tell whether or not you have a spot or a flood in case the, the bulb has a dotted lens is that you will just put the bulb into your fixture and you can take a look at the type of beam angle that you get. Then also something important to look at is the degrees of the spot and the flood. From different manufacturers, you're going to have different um, varying degrees. So if you have a spot from Philips and you have a spot from Osram, the Philips spot may be a 10 degree and the Osram spot may be a 15 degree. So it depends on the manufacturer and sometimes the degrees will vary between 10 and 20 degrees for a spot and 25 to 35 degrees for a flood. Next we're going to look at the CMH bulb. This bulb comes in two versions. It comes with a self-contained ballast, which is what I'm holding here, and then it comes in the version where you will need to have the ballast already in the fixture. So it's really important to know and understand what you're buying, and if you need any help to determine whether or not you have a self-contained ballast bulb, then uh, just visit us at bulbamerica.com and we'll be happy to help you out. And the next one we're going to look at are the LED bulbs. So the LEDs, these are becoming more and more popular on the market. And if you notice, the difference between these two is that one has a single LED chip, the other has multiple LED chips. But this isn't going to determine the light output or how strong the bulb is. What's really going to determine that is the lumens. So you have to pay attention to what the lumens are of your LED bulbs. Once you've determined that, then you can look at the wide variety of color temperatures. Um, the LED bulbs vary from 2700K all the way to 5600K, whereas the standard halogens, they are a 2700K. So for more information or for any help that you need, please visit us at www.bulbamerica.com or you can call us at 1-888-505-2111. Thanks for watching.